shoot the fat. Now I know you all are doing your own thing, but I don't You've want been to anyone here City. to forget what Good matters. Hey, asshole. Daisy, glad you could make it. How's my favorite girl doing? Didn't I see you on a date with Morowski the other day? Ah, he wishes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right, we're getting off track. What was I saying? Oh, that's right. Hey, what Cleo. matters? Remain we freaks gotta stick together. Speech. And the best way to stick together is to keep an eye out for what drives us apart. You feel me? Yeah, you tell it like it is, Hancock. Now, what out there <laughs> okay. in our big, friendly commonwealth would want to drive us apart? What kind of twisted, unneighborly boogeyman would want to hurt our peaceful community? The Institute. Yeah, the Institute and their sins. That's right. Who said that? Come on up to my office later. You've earned yourself some jet. The Institute. They're the real enemy. Not the Raiders. Not the super mutants. Not even those tools over in Diamond City. Uh, I don't know, Hancock. I'd sure love to give McDonough a kick in the ass. Hey. We all know I got my own personal beef with that lardhead. But stay focused. Now, I want everyone to keep the Institute in mind. When someone starts acting funny. When people are doing things they don't normally do. When family starts pushing you away for no reason. We all know who's behind that kind of shit. And the only way to stop it is to stick together. They can't control us if we're not afraid. Now! Who's scared of the Institute? Not us. us! And which town in the Commonwealth <laughs> should the Institute not fuck with? Good neighbor! Good neighbor. And who's a in robot? charge good of neighbor. good neighbor? Hancock! Of the people! For the people! What a great speech. Now I'm gonna go... The few places in the Commonwealth that yeah, that is super scary. The robot just running. Hey man, I got, the, I got your goods. I got your costume, Kent. And some other goodies you might like. There she is, pretty as the posters. The Silver Shroud costume herself. And memorabilia, too? Here's something else. Together with my gun, everything's all set. Awesome. What are you planning next? I'm still working that out. Some details I want to run by you. Well, after you give me the costume, that is. Oh. Here you go. After all these years. The Silver Shroud is born again. But there's just one problem. I'm just not Silver Shroud material. I could be Rhett Reinhardt or, or his butler, Jarvie Blake. But the Shroud is strong, capable. Hmm. You should be the hero. That would be awesome. Come on. Don't sell yourself short. I got a better idea who should wear it. You up for being a Silver Shroud? You're just like me. him, except you probably haven't been in a blimp shot down by mobsters. I will. I sh it like would I be an be honor. The, the costume and gun are yours, so you patrol good neighbors' streets, and I'll call in any crimes on my radio station. Here Reduces damage from humans. Here's some calling cards, I guess. When you dispatch justice, leave them behind. That way, everyone knows the Silver Shroud has returned. Time to fight crime! Time to fight crime! Let's go, Neck! You're gonna be my sidekick, Detective Synthetic. Let's go. Galaxy News Radio. Calling all Silver Shroud fans. A once in a lifetime announcement. The Silver Shroud returns and he's gonna clean up the Yeah. Streets. Everyone heard how Wayne Delancey murdered Miss Selmy and her kid over a few lousy cows. Oh, what? Death is coming for you, Wayne. He's in here? Holy moly, the silver shroud. Can't no. Radio. Just like sound. <laughs> He's right there. The ah. what the oh god, Wayne, please, I'm sorry. Is this part of the job <laughs> description? Screw. Damn, I'm out of ammunition for that gun. <laughs> God, you are really tough. Got him. I did it. Silver Shroud. Uh, what's my calling card? Oh, he killed this drifter. 
This wow, he had a ton of stuff. Don't mind if I do. <gasps> Fork it over. <gasps> Get it? Oh, try and go. I just leave the calling card. Okay, just try and go. <laughs> Why did I put it right on his crotch? Yeah, I think we had to do that six times, right? Let me listen to the radio again. Galaxy News! Friend of the show, Jerry, is here. <laughs> is this thing on? Hello? Hello? Jerry? It's on. Sweet pit We're boy, recording brother. in here. You hold on to that. Oh, no. Oh, man. What happened? Friendly and great. Great. The Silver Shroud's dispatched justice already. Miss Selmy has been event. Shit, the Shroud off Wayne? Wait, so this guy's actually for real? Oh, you better believe it. So, Jerry, go on. Tell the listeners about what we're talking about. Right. So, AJ, you know yes. the chem dealer by Bobby's. He's doing good for himself. Oh, what? He says he's got a whole new market. Got a reason to be proud. What just happened? I just had to shoot up a synth body snatcher over here. Hear that? Oh, really? Sounds like the Silver Shroud has another bad guy to deal with. Uh, why? This Shroud guy, he's gonna muscle in on the chem trade now? No. He's gonna do something about it. You sticking around? AJ's selling the kids. The crew. And his chems I hear have Bobby No Nose is looking. And? Always a catch with I don't get it. But she we can't let AJ kill kids. Whatever. You'll follow? Keep hey, your hands where I look can at the see. clown. This is my turf, clown. <laughs> and I don't appreciate what you call them trespasses. Peddling poison to kids, are we? Today, you face the Silver Shroud. Uh, <laughs> who you say? Oh, for Christ's sake. We can't put you up to this. He keeps moaning about the poor little kids. What the hell, right? Tell you what. What? I'll pay you, let's say, 50 caps just to shut up about it. And, uh, maybe 50 get... caps? Stop selling to children, a miscreant, or face my wrath. Uh, you're through, son. Screw you. Waste the free. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> the Silver Shroud is dead! The death of the Silver Shroud! So I actually have this weapon right here. It looks like a sniper rifle, but it is a syringe gun. And so I'm just gonna shoot the syringe at him. Well, he's gonna bleed out. So, bam! He's bleeding. Shit. And now all we gotta do is just kill that him. Ah, ah, the Silver Shroud is here! Oh, shit! What the? Oh, I killed him! I killed him! Bastard! Oh, you did not just punch the Silver Shroud! Ah! Get him! Shank! We did it! He had 101 caps? What a bargain! And of course, I gotta leave my call sign. Where is it? My call sign is somewhere there. The Silver Shroud! And now, a special update. The villainous assassin Kendra was recently spotted at the third rail. The same what? Kendra who bombed Little Joe Shack and killed four innocent drifters. If you want to see the Silver Shroud in action, stay near Whitechapel Charlie. The shroud's sure to interrogate and find the evildoer's whereabouts. I will find the evildoer's whereabouts. Wait, who is this guy? Hey. Hancock says newcomers oh. are welcome in the third rail. You look very nice. Go on very in. sharp. Thanks. I gotta find that guy. He's been. What was he doing again? I don't even remember. Oh, a nice little jazzy place. <gasps> Who's singing? Another one of you works the room from the green. He's in the back room. Pull up a chair. No Very jazzy. I had to snap. Hey, you got a letterman jacket. I love this song. Hey, Nick. 
buddy. Hey there. I need to be a lot more high. Or a lot more oh, hey, he, wait, he's the person. Make way for paying customers. You look like one of them wankers from the posters. What you wearing that for? You look upon the Silver Shroud. <laughs> I seek a miscreant named Kendra. Shroud, then? Well, I am nothing. Kendra is not one to be trifled with. People associated with her have a habit like of hat. being found face down in a ditch. If you're set on meeting her, for a fee it can be arranged. Can you spare a few details on her at least? On the house? As murderers go, she's positively prolific. Your percentage would say more. Fine, I'll give you the freaking. Here's your money. Where is she? He's still going through, is this? She's got a flat outside the neighborhood. Look out for the blighter she's got with her. Nasty piece of business, that. Good luck. Alright, we gotta go take him out. You're super loud. Oh, what the hell happened? You guys heard that too, right? All I heard was a scream. The Silver Shroud strikes again! Boom! Taste the shroud! Or taste the silver, more like. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna show you guys Kellogg's gun. Bam! Hey! Stop it! Don't you dare hurt him! He has feelings! Alright, the silver shroud is coming! No sign of him now! <laughs> Get shrouded! Down. He's been silver shrouded. Are we gonna talk? You wanna talk? I should keep my. I probably should keep my gun out. You wanna talk? Let's you talk. must be Kendra. And you. You're the crazy one in the costume. Wayne Delancey's killer. You have no idea who you're dealing with. I do I the so silver like shroud. it when the little bug crawls willingly into the spider's webs. Wait, are you gonna kill me? You have taken your last life, villain. <laughs> you stole my line. <laughs> Bastard. Oh god, she might kill me. No, she, she's dead. Radio. Another headliner. Hancock seeks a special meeting with our hero, the Silver Shroud. Whatever it's about, be careful, Shroud. We're all with you. All right, Hancock. Where is he? Where is he? He's upstairs. You get into trouble. It's your own damn fault. Watch yourself. I will watch myself. Watch yourself. A new player in good name. Fahrenheit. Why is Hello, that? little pawn. Welcome to our fun and games. You're creepy. Guess Hello. what someone tells me? Some costume freak is operating in Good Neighbor. And the kicker is, it ain't me. How should I feel about this? This neighborhood is ill. I am the cure. You're priceless. Cure, what a great brand. Like the Silver Shroud himself walked out of a comic book in the mic den. Just priceless. You've been busy scaring people, bashing in a few faces. I respect that, so far. But I gotta ask, one freak to another, why the getup? Many have sought to pierce the shroud, to no avail. You just don't stop. <laughs> to no Stay avail. Stay you, pal. The lowlifes you took out all belong to the same asshole. And that asshole's planning some old-fashioned revenge on you. You dig? Fortunate for you, I want Sinjin to take a dirt nap. He's taken two bit raider outfits and made them scary. Small fish now, but if left alone, he will be judged for his crimes. Trust me, he needs a lot of judging. Got a lead on two of his own Smiling Kate and Northy. Smiley is gathering a posse to take you out. And Northy is just running scared. Hired himself some goons and is holding up in prospect. Just keep piling those body bags up until you find the location of the big guy himself. 
Sinjin thinks he's above judgment. But no one is safe from the Silver Shroud. Don't get killed. You deal with Sinjin, and I'm inclined to show you some gratitude. You feel me? I feel you. Let's go. Ho 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 ho. Here we go. The Silver Shroud sends his respects. Did I have to leave a calling card? Didn't say. I'm gonna go kill everyone. Ha! Take that! Oh! Oh shit! Now. Damn, crazy man. Whoa! Don't Get Get play like that. Ah. Oh. Come on! The Silver Shroud. Oh yeah, I do have, I do have to leave a calling, calling card. Damn, look at that. She has that. She looks like the Joker, kind of. <laughs> oh god, what the hell's going on? Do it. Oh, my bad. No. Silver Shroud. <laughs> I'm not here to kill you. I'm here to kill Northy. He's running. Where the hell did he go? Get back here, you little bastard! The Silver Shroud comes. Hey! Calling card. Find the shiver. What? Find Kent. Kent. God, there's a b huge battle going on right now. Uh, let's go see how that is going. Oh, shit. Take that. Oh, man. There's like three attacks going on. Oh shit, the car's on fire. No, stop shooting me, please, please, please. Oh, I don't wanna die. Oh god, that was that was really lucky. Using my alien blaster! Hi! What was that noise? Did you guys hear that? Damn, that was crazy. Kent! And oh, wait, did I need to talk to you? Wait, what happened to Kent? Was he taken? Kent? Shit, I think Kent oh, was it's taken. You. Oh, sugar. I told Kent all that hero stuff was gonna get you both killed. Oh, God. Oh, God. Where Calm is he? Calm yourself. The shroud is here to help. Calm your Please, shit. stop. That's what got Kent into trouble in the first place. A dozen raiders barged in and snatched him. When they took him away, they left you a message. Just listen to Kent's radio station. It keeps playing it over and over again. Oh no, Kent. Kent! He was my... He was my number two. This is the shroud's headquarters. So you must be the Silver Shroud's little friend. Yes. If you want to see your friend alive, Shroud, meet me at Milton General Hospital. Don't do it, Shroud. It's a trap. Save yourself. Ah! Ah! Oh my 
my god! Do it, Shroud! Do it! Oh, I need... Oh. <laughs> Tick tock, Shroud. I have to save him. Waiting. We got business that needs finishing. Where are they? I need a s bet this place helped a lot of people in its day. It, it did. It did. It's a hospital. Where is it? <laughs> shit. The hell? Did they shoot it? Huh. No, I don't need it. Come on now, rookie! God. Ah. Damn, really? <laughs> I put a hole. Smack him. Smack him. <laughs> Beat him down. I thought we were getting along. There's nothing here. Why did I come to the bathrooms? There's no time to waste. Son, you better be worth it. You hear about Corbega? Every raider in the place is taking their dirt. Jared included. The reels? Uh-huh. Every last one. Shit! Like <laughs> nice. You gotta take more elevators, you guys. Why is there so many? Shrub, Going up? Oh! With you. It's lying! You wanna talk with me? Uh, um, I don't think my charisma is high enough. I think you're gonna end up shooting him. Let me change. Alright, I'm ready again. now. I'm ready Old to talk. Assholes. Anyone turns heel, I'm coming for you and your family. And you, Shroud. You step any closer, and we get to see what's inside Kent. Mm hmm. Don't do anything uh, rash, Sinjin. Rash? Rash? Some of these losers are still waiting for the legendary Silver Shroud. They think the Shroud walks straight out of a comic book. But you and I know, the Shroud's just you in a stupid, flea-ridden costume. You're weak. You came here. And for what? You little sidekick? Yes. Friends don't make you weak. They make you strong. I can play you like a chump because you care about a weakling like this. And you think that's strength? So what's gonna happen is this. I'm going to kill Kent. Then we're gonna shoot the hell out of you. Nothing's gonna be left but paste. Then, I'm going to good neighbor. And kill every last worthless bastard there and burn the whole thing down. No one screws with Sinjin. Don't shoot him. Don't shoot him. What happens is this. Everyone that points a gun at me, dies. Every. Last. One. Jesus. Since you can't do oh, anything to us, he's dead. Work. Coward! Coward! No! No, 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 no! Stop it! Shit! I didn't save him! No! What? You bastard! Oh, shit, I died. Let's see. I, I really want to save Kent. You know what Let's would see. really get to Kent? Killing his friend. His hero. Right in front of him. <laughs> Enjoy the show, Kent. After I'm done with the shroud, you're next. <laughs> and come back. Shit. All right. Now let me change now. I was having fun. All right. Come on. Come on, bastards. Come on, get me. Oh, no. I messed up. I messed up. I missed! <laughs> Going right out! Oh shit. My off. Damn it. I got something. Oh, I froze them. I froze them. <laughs> that was a cryo grenade. Pretty cool, eh? Run out of oh shit. No, I'm not. Who the hell is. This person I think is harder than. Than the actual person we're supposed to kill. Damn. Got him. Oh shit! There's another person still alive. Stop moving. Oh. This looks clear. It looks clear. Let's scavenge stuff. Valentine loved that. Hey, he loves me. Let me ask you something. Oh, yeah? Sure. What's ask up? Ask away. It's just, uh, with everything that's happened with you and your, your family, it's a whole hell of a lot to process. I wanted to make sure you're holding up all right. I feel fine. Thank you. Yeah. I'm all right. Huh. 
You're a tougher nut than I thought. Tougher than I was. Took me a long damn time to get a feel for this place. Thank goodness I found Diamond City. It's got its flaws, sure, but it beats the hell out of anywhere else in the Commonwealth. Of course, when I took up there back when, people were just as scared of the Institute as they are now. Maybe more. The massacre of the CPG was still pretty fresh in people's minds at that point. And the folks were still losing sleep over the broken mask. Plenty of people assumed I, I was just a saboteur, no idea what that means. moving in to melt down the reactor or poison the drinking water. But at the time, they couldn't exactly turn me away. M massacre of the CPG? What's that? The Commonwealth Provisional Government. Years back, a group of settlements tried to get together and form a coalition. Every settlement with even a hint of clout sent representatives to try and hash out an agreement. Only the Institute sent a representative of their own. A synth. The man killed every rep at the talks. The Commonwealth Provisional Government was over before it even got off the ground. I took up in town not long after. You could start it up again. I was damn lucky they didn't just tell me to scram right then and there. Broken mask? What's the this broken mask? This was long before I'd moved to town, but apparently some gentleman type shows up in Diamond City, heads down to Power Noodles. Guess he didn't like the food because he pulled his pistol and opened fire on the folks oh, enjoying theirs. yeah, I heard when about security that. security finally put enough holes in him to drop him, they say he was full of servos and sprockets. Just like yours truly. Seems he malfunctioned, went berserk. It was the first time people realized that synths had stopped looking like me and started looking like them. Considering what these folks went through, I felt real lucky they let me in the front gate at all. Why did yeah. they let you in? Because I'd rescued the mayor's daughter. Gal of about 15. Pride and joy of the mayor back then. A man by the name of Henry Roberts. The young Miss Roberts decided she'd run off with some caravan hand. She'd, uh, <clears throat> known for an evening. Turns out the guy was part of a gang oh. of kidnappers. I didn't even know who I was rescuing. Just stumbled on a crying girl and four toughs. I took her home and the mayor dubbed me a hero. Offered me a place in town. Lots of folks protested and said I was a spy, but he wouldn't have it. Taking up in the city was tricky at first, but I never tried to hide what I was, and people seemed to warm to that. That's good, Valentine. That's good. You took down four guys by yourself? Well, I didn't have to. Back then, synths were even more of an unknown quantity than they are today. I told them I was rigged to explode and started going, beep, beep, beep. <laughs> Hardest part of that rescue was keeping from laughing as they climbed over each other to get away. Was it hard settling in? Well, they sure didn't make it easy. I started off doing the jobs no one else wanted. I got more banged up being Diamond City's handyman than I ever did living out in the ruins. But I guess folks never forgot I rescued the mayor's daughter, so they started coming to me when people went missing. Wife runs off with a new paramour and takes the rent money with her? Talk to the synth. An upset father decides moving him and the kids to good neighbor in the dead of night's not the worst damn idea since the bomb? Go get Nick. After a while, the jobs got so backed up, they didn't even ask me to do the handyman stuff anymore. Hell, I was so happy Good to do you. it, it was months before I started charging anyone. I never stopped being Nick the Synth, but it was Nick the Detective folks came to see. It was about then that things, uh, well, things finally started feeling normal. From it took rags me a long to time detective. to realize that home is where you make it. Now, with some time and effort, this place can be home for you, too. That's a long story, but I hope it helps. Want to get moving? Yeah, that's you opened up to me. That's very nice of you. I've never been so happy to hey, see anyone hey, in my buddy? entire life. I'm glad I got here in time. You and me both, Shroud. But I don't know. I just give up on all of it. Crime fighting just isn't what I thought it'd be. If you just quit, then the bad guys have already won. You, you're right. But I'm tired. I just want to go home. 
I'm going back to Good Neighbor. Really, thanks for saving me. But I'm just done. Oh. I'll have to leave my calling card. Boom, right on his crotch. That's my calling card. Hey, I did the yeah, job. I left my calling card and Sometimes everything. Sometimes you need to sacrifice a piece to keep the game going. I just need keep time going. to recover, you know? Hey. Yeah. The deed hey. is done. The dreaded Sinjin breathes no more. All by your lonesome, you took down the big bad Sinjin. We get to walk that tightrope of freedom one more day. Take this for the effort. Oh, whoa, that's you a lot. You played Bonica. your part in serving justice to those most deserving of it. I'm gonna miss these little conversations. Ah, Ken, my man. Why the long face? You got what you wanted. I was t tortured. Almost died. It's not like the radio plays at all. Hey, who hasn't been tortured from time to time? The price of throwing down with the man is always a few scars. Pick yourself up. Good neighbor's just a bit safer thanks to the two of you. What would the Shroud be without his faithful friend, Red Reinhardt? This... This means a lot to me. I'm gonna need some time to heal, you know? But then I got a special project in mind, just for you. Really? I'll fire up my radio station if I make any progress. Very nice. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed the Silver Shroud Commonwealth Superhero.